Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Benton, your moderator for today's Super Tuesday debate. And representing the LA Galaxy, we have Greg Lawless. Representing the New York Red Bulls, we have Nick Fershaw. We'll start with the topic of each team's political clout, so to speak. You both boast some of the brightest luminaries in the league. Mr. Lawless, what leads you to believe that Mr. Donovan is capable of providing your team's supporters with the optimal outcome? Well, John, my club is not named the Galaxy for nothing. The reality is, the superstars for the galaxy shine brighter than a thousand points of light. And they're led by the brightest star in all of the heavens, Landon Donovan. He has the talent and the skill and the experience to perform miracles on the field. But Mr. Fershaw, it is not just Landon Donovan. It is also David Beckham. It is Omar Gonzalez. Even Frankie Haydock. All of them together, I submit to you, will come and they will earn three points on Tuesday night. Mr. Fershaw, a rebuttal? Well, while I certainly respect Mr. Donovan and all the years of tremendous service that he's given to this great nation, I ask the American people and I ask you, how many World Cups has he won? How many Champions League crowns has he won? The answer is none. The real star power here belongs to Thierry Henry of the New York Red Bulls a man with the finest pedigree in Major League Soccer who's led this team in goals throughout good times and in bad. It's upon his shoulders, Mr. Lawless, that you can firmly rest the fate and your hopes in your organization. The next question goes to the representative from New York. Mr. Fershaw, recently your organization has had issues providing a safe and secure goal now. How will your stance on defense affect this match? Well, while I admit that the Red Bulls' policies on defense have wavered at times this season, let me make this perfectly clear. There is a resurrection of spirit on the Red Bulls' back line, and we've seen the results in recent weeks. Rafa Marquez is refocused, Tim Ream is resilient, and whatever the Galaxy throw forth at the New York Red Bulls, they have the answer. Read my lips. No new lapses. Fair point. Mr. Lawless, how do you counteract this? Mr. Fershaw can talk about defense, but I was a defender. As a professional player in Major League Soccer and the A-League, I played defense. And my opponent will discuss Rafa Marquez and Tim Ream, but there is a fact that he seems to be overlooking. The LA Galaxy have the best defense in MLS. They have the skill. They have the experience. And they have the discipline to handle the likes of Thierry Henry and Luke Rogers. And let me just remind everybody out there of that famous phrase, who is Luke Rogers anyway? Very well. And this brings us to the final question. Mr. Lawless, the Galaxy's troops are among the most disciplined in the league. But tell us, how will that provide an edge in this match? Well, you know, John, I believe that discipline comes from strong leadership. And Bruce Arena runs a tight ship. Not that he has to. He has veterans all over the field that can handle anything that comes their way. They will not be bowled over by the Big Apple. They will play their game. It will be tight defense, crisp possession, and a lightning fast counterattack. The LA Galaxy have won double digit games by one goal. That, Mr. Fershaw, is the discipline of a champion. It has to be asked, Mr. Fershaw, how will you handle such a well-oiled machine? Well, Mr. Lawless, I certainly am glad you brought up that statistic because that sounds exactly like something those fat cats on Wall Street might say the day before their business comes crashing to the ground. The New York Red Bulls continue to pick themselves up by the bootstraps with the heart and spirit that make this nation so great. They are motivated, they are renovated, and Mr. Lawless, they're aggravated. I assure you, even though this game will be played on Tuesday night, it's morning again for the New York Red Bulls. Very well, gentlemen. We've reached the conclusion of our debate, but I'll offer you some time for closing comments. Mr. Pershaw, you have the floor. Well, thank you, John, and thank you to all the supporters out there. We've gone through tough times recently, both this team and this great nation. But a nation isn't built in one day, and championships are not earned in one summer. 
There is a new dawn coming for this country and this team. And I assure you, we are bullish about the future. And Mr. Lawless, your closing remarks? Well, thank you, John. My fellow MLS fans, there has been a lot of talk this year about the best team on paper. But there is no debate about who has been the best team on the field. And that team is the LA Galaxy. They have the talent, they have the experience, and they have the skills. The fact is, the LA Galaxy are on the brighter side of soccer. And that is no bull. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you for a rousing debate today and for some very interesting arguments put forth for all the supporters out there to consider. A reminder, the match begins at 8 p.m. Eastern on Super Tuesday, October 4th, and will be broadcast live on ESPN2. We'll also offer a live chat on MLSsoccer.com for all the supporters to sound off. Thanks so much for tuning in, and gentlemen, good luck.